This video is brought to you by Otherworld Computing. Quality products, expert support. Visit maxsales.com for more info. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are performing a RAM upgrade on the late 2013 Mac Pro. So let's go ahead and jump right into it here. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that we unplug all the cables. Not only is it the safest way to perform any upgrade on a computer, but we are required to do so in order to remove the Mac Pro's casing. So to kick things off here, we are using a 32 gigabyte RAM kit from Otherworld Computing and you can visit them online at maxsales.com. And in my opinion, OWC has the best RAM on the planet. The OWC memory for the 2013 Mac Pro fully meets Apple's specifications with special attention to proper thermal specifications, and it's also backed by a lifetime advanced replacement warranty. So go ahead and check it out at maxsales.com using the link down below in the description. And if you want to pick up the 32 gigabyte RAM kit for the new Mac Pro, it's available for $449. Jumping into the RAM kit here, as you can see, we have four RAM modules, which will consume all four slots in the new Mac Pro. And we also do have a special tool that will help us access the RAM modules, but I'll show you that here in a minute. The first thing we need to do here is unlock the casing, and then we will be able to remove it by pulling up on the handle area there to expose the Mac Pro's internals. On the back of the Mac Pro, we have RAM bays on the left and right side, and all we have to do to open those is either press on this little button right here with the white arrow, or we can take that special tool that came with the RAM kit, and we can slip it under that lip and pull up on the tool to easily pop open the RAM bay. Next up, you'll want to carefully remove the existing RAM modules and make sure that you put them somewhere safe, and then we are going to be installing the brand new RAM. We have four 8 gigabyte sticks from the OWC 32 gigabyte kit and we are going to carefully install those back in the slots where we took out the old RAM. You should feel each module kind of snap into place once they are seated properly in the slot. Once we're finished installing the RAM modules we can go ahead and press on the plastic bumper at the top there to close the bay. Now as you can imagine we are going to be doing the same thing to the other RAM bay and we're going to use that same tool to open up the bay and install the new RAM modules. Now the reason that we are using four 8 gigabyte RAM modules as opposed to two 16 gigabyte sticks is to take advantage of the performance involved with the four channel memory controller found in the 2013 Mac Pro. The only downside here is if you want to upgrade to 64 gigabytes in the future you're going to have to buy a brand new RAM kit with four separate sticks. But in my opinion this is the best route to go. Once we have finished installing the RAM we can go ahead and place the casing back on and don't forget to flip over that little lock switch there, plug everything in and press the power button on the back and then we can go to the Apple menu once we're booted up, click on about this Mac and here we should be able to see 32 gigabytes of RAM installed. And we can even click on the more info button at the bottom there to go ahead and check out all of the slots here. And as you can see, we have eight gigabyte sticks in each slot on this Mac Pro. So we are all set up and ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe for more Mac Pro coverage in the future and let me know what you think about the brand new Mac Pro down in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.